I implore you to click on the subscription button below to subscribe to our channel. More videos still coming, capital allowance, a lot of videos. So you don't want to miss it. Click on it. Cost accounting is still even coming. So subscribe to our channel to get notified. So in today's class, we'll continue where we, from where we stopped in our last class. We started with um, basis period, otherwise known as basis of assessment. If you have not watched out the video, check the link below this video and watch out for it. So in this class, we'll be treating um, cessation of business. So what do you mean by cessation of business? According to Finance Act 2020, what does the cessation rule state? Now, what do you mean by business cessation, a business ceased? A business can cease for a lot of reasons. It can be management decision. It can be government policy. Like, for example, maybe a, the government banned the particular production of a particular good. The company has to close down. And all these are reasons why a business may cease. So the rule state that all you need to know on cessation is the date the business ceases. Then you add six months. I was re delving, I will explain why we need to add six months. For example, now, you know, in a year we have January to um, December. So if business sees maybe March, March of this, March 2020, so add six months to it, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So the date or the year for the cessation is still 2020. But imagine a, a business sees August 2020, August. August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So that will be February 2021 will be the year that they will remit the tax. So for you to remit tax, tax of any particular business, you look at the days they cease at six months, then the six months you add, any year it gives is the year they will remit the tax, the final tax of the business. So let's take a question and let's solve together enough of the talk. Now, from what we have here, Sorry, from what we have here, we have Apex Nigeria Limited was incorporated in 1990, ceased operation on March 31st, 2020. Having been in business for over 25 years, the accounting year of the company is December 31st annually. So then they then ask us, you are required, determine the relevant years of assessment and the due date of payment of tax. Now, don't forget that in in basis period there's something we use and that is preceding year basis i explained that in my previous class that the tax of 2020 will be collected in 2021 and so on so to solve this question now the name of the business is apex nigeria limited apex nigeria limited apex nigeria limited and don't forget our format tax year tax year tax year um B, um, business period, business period, and accessible profit. Accessible profit. Let's do this this way. Now, if you look at the question very, very well, the question goes thus. Let's take a look, a look at it again. It says, Apex Nigeria Limited was incorporated in 1990. Now, cease operation on March 31st, 2020. Now, they ceased operation in March 21st, but don't forget that. Now, according to preceding year basis, tax of 2019 will be collected in 2020. So, definitely 2020, they will come and collect tax of 2019. So, we need to remit that 2020-19 tax using the tax year as 2020. Don't forget, if you have not watched the previous video, please do. And we need to now remit the tax for that 2020 year itself. They ceased the operation in 2020, right? Fine. But that 2020, we are not collecting 2020 tax. We are collecting 2019 tax. Then, we now, the year they now cease operation, we now need to calculate their um, accessible profit and the tax they are going to pay using the six months rule and everything. Let's write, put something on the board. So now, year 20 or before i even write the year basis period will be the sixth operation the sixth operation every year december so basis period will be for tax year of 2019 will be one one 2019 to 31st 12 2019 so the tax of 2019 will be collected in 2020 so the tax year will be 
2020. Now, the business is operation in the year 2020. One month. That's what we need to take note of. The business is operation. It says six operation on March 31st, 2020. So, the rule of cessation says that from the date or the month of cessation, you've had another six months. So, add another six months to March. April, May, June, July, August, September. So, that is September. So, September 2020. So, the year they are still going to remit their tax is still the year for that period is still 2020. So, now you will come here. Um, sixth operation. Sixth operation. Let's go back to the question. It says business sixth operation March 31st, 2020. So, from 1st of January 2020. 20 to a season operation match right so to 31st of march which is 30 and 2020 so the the tax year will be 2020 so as simple as that the tax year will be 2020 were we giving any accessible profit no we're just going to determine the basis rate. so the tax year will be what 2020 as simple as that Add six months to hit and determine the relevant year of um the relevant tax year or year of assessment. So now let me now tell you why we need to add six months. It is very simple because whenever a business is seizing operation, you know, it's not easy for business to just say, okay, they are seizing operation, they might still have debtors outside, they might still want to put pay creditors, they might still want to, you know, they might still have money coming in even after cessation. So that is why the tax authority has made it necessary that you have to remit your tax six months after the date of cessation, just in case you have income coming in, you have any money coming into the business, maybe after even even six. The business stop operation third of March. But of course, they might still have customers who want to pay, they might still have anybody who wants to pay. And that will now lead us to what we call post cessation adjustments. So we're going to take a question on position adjustment let's see so let's let's take it in a different way let me not i don't want to take a question on it but this is what i'm going to do having you understand the rule of um cessation i'm going to drop a question link on my on this video comment section so you can access it position adjustment is just that this business sees the operation um march 2020 so let's say april 2020 a customer pay their maybe bad debts they feel they can never recover again of one million and let's say the accessible profit for this year is let's say two million five hundred thousand and the accessible profit for this particular year is let's say one million now if after cessation which is much a customer pays um five hundred thousand that's he has been owing for over two years then you add it to the accessible profits if the company had to make the payment maybe for some expenses old or that has been old or you know anything like that then you deduct it that is how to do post cessation adjustment and that is why it is necessary for the tax authority to give six good months in case there are any adjustments on the profit that can increase the tax liability or rather reduce it so that is all for um cessation nothing much so please subscribe to this channel more more topics on taxation more more topics on costing that you don't want to miss so i'll see you right there in our next video class thank you